Well, thank you because you made it possible in his life. Father, we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today we commit everything that will be going on here today into your hands. Take absolute control of every second, every minute, every hour. And let all things go decently and in order. And let everything be to the praise of your name in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll pray for everyone that ought to be here. Whatever be a hindrance on their way, we'll pray that those things be removed. And they be, instead be picking to this place so that together we partake of this blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. The first person I'd like to recognize, some of you might be looking at her and be wondering, don't I know this woman from somewhere? Yes, you do know her. She's popularly referred to as Mama Rainbow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Reverend Mother Idumu Philip. The smile is ever there, never fades, never changes. Ebony black beauty. Seated to her right is a young gentleman whose part um, I crossed with almost 10 years ago and that part has been shining brighter and brighter evermore. He is a United Nations Ambassador for Bilateral Agreements, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Seated to his right is the host of this event, a man of many parts, a reverend gentleman, gentleman in every sense of the word that you can imagine. Ladies and gentlemen, please recognize and appreciate Pastor Ishaya Demos. I know that traditionally we do not recognize husband separately from wife. But I'm intentionally doing this separately because even the wife is another authority on our own. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Mrs. Esther Shire. Yes. Just a small story about Abbey's Farmer's Market. Abbey's Farmer's Market did not start today. We have been working on this thing for more than 13 years. Before last year, July, God help us, it comes to stay. With the help of Lagos State. I always appreciate the governor of Lagos State, the commissioner of Agri, and her team for granting us a big opportunity. People may think Abbey's Farmer's Market are just after money. No. We just want to change the life of living and also the life of how people consume protein in our country. We that have privilege to travel, we have seen what other Western world are doing. Everybody will come. It's baffling me. Sometimes I will hear people are talking on television. These are this, these are this. When you go there, you don't come back to do what you see there, but you come back to tell us what is happening there. We don't, lo we don't like those kind of people. We want people that will go outside there and come and replicate what they see outside there. Nobody would make this country better if we did not do and if we did not agree to do it. So, Abbey's Farmer's Market was come up, we launched it last year, as I said, and uh, in fact, we have gone so far in Lagos. So when my brother met me, the first day he went to our outlet to visit our outlet, he was so amazed and impressed. He said that he want to bring this kind of beautiful something to the, his community. I don't know why he's uh, after his community. He did not say Oshodi, Osulere, or Festak, where uh, people are, but he that's to tell you the kind of passion and love he has for the community. Thank you, sir. Now, here we are today, and by God's grace, it has come to stay. What I will assure you on our products, I don't want to talk much, but maybe one day, if you are opportune to come to Aja, try and call any number of, on the car. Just come and see what we are doing. Just come and see. In fact, when we started, 
we invite almost every MDs of hotel, restaurant, and even butchers. And why do we do that? We want you to come and identify what we are doing first, not just to start on here yeah, selling our product. But when you see, it's left for you to decide whether to buy or not. We remember two to three years, something that has never happened to the world. We have experienced it, COVID-19, right? Before COVID-19, there was Ebola. Thank God, one person sacrificed for that to the whole country. That's why maybe today some of us are alive. Now, where did Ebola come? Ebola comes from animal. That's what we eat. Even where the Ebola start, they themselves, they don't know whether this Ebola start from the cow that they eat, or the chicken, or the monkey. Some people say monkey, some people say, yes, we consume. Some people eat monkey. Yeah, I eat monkey too, if I see, right? So now, the essence of uh, Abyss, is to provide a quality uh, protein for our consumers. And what do we do in Abyss? Before we buy our cow, we buy our cow from local market where people buy. But we keep them for like three months. We deworm them. After deworming, we give them vitamin C. We treat them. From that day, when they enter our, um, our ranch, they don't eat grass again. We have a food that we feed them process then when we transport them to lagos with the help of lagos state we have veterinary doctors that will check these cows before we kill and even after killing they will check the meat to shock you the first day we start we remove some part of meat that the veterinary doctors say nobody should eat it we bury all those things and what did they say? They said, if you didn't boil this meat very well, when you eat, you have tuberculosis. And besides, it's the only commodity that you see in our food room. Because every day, all the cow that we keep must finish. So one day, I tell my manager, I say, manager, why are you keeping all this uh, commodity here? People outside there want commodity. He said, I got the women that used to buy, they hold us money. And you say, we should not give any credit again. I say, yes. I say, okay. So I said, tomorrow morning, take the Komo, go to IGD. When they take our Komo to IGD, people rush them. The drivers can testify for you. We carry 3,000 uh, 3, something kilo. It's finished everything that day. The next day, the whole IGD abattoir, they did not buy Komo. We not, they, not, they start calling me, they even call me from Lagos State that we import Komo to IGD. I said, Director, we didn't import any Pomo. It's what we process. You cannot compare our meat with other people. That's why the Pomo is different. So these are the things that people don't know. It's not just about the meat. You go there, you see how they process that Pomo, you won't eat. You go there, you see how they process meat, you won't eat. But we are not pushing anybody out of business. When they come, they incorporate with what we are doing. Everybody will eat healthy meat. Lagos is big. Everybody will make his money. So that's my own. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over 80 looking like 40. <laughs> Captain Reverend Mother I don't think. Complete increase. Celebrating 80 October 16, 2022. Daddy, a lot of people, uh, I've been calling the CEO of Goodmans Learning Center. So, a lot of people ask about how the Goodmans came to me. So, uh, you can see my daddy here, immediately about 22 years ago when I gave my life to Christ, I met him first. And he asked me for my name and I mentioned it. I mentioned it. And he said, Here, we'll be calling you Bro Goodmans. That was how good was came to be. And since then, <laughs> we've been doing a lot of good. Reverend Shai Moss and Mommy, they have been so good, so kind. When, you know, in the days of Ombu beginning, they have been there and they've been supporting and up to date and they are still supporting. Um, I want to give all the glory to Almighty God for today's occasion. Um, 
how did we all started all of these things? Like uh, the CEO has said, he is actually into properties, but had a passion to ensure that he promotes food security. And the passion is second to none, like I said, and he started visiting several countries. Visited Brazil, visited UK, visited Turkey, visited several places. Take a case study from Dubai, from everywhere. And um, the result of sev several studies and case studies and how they did it in those most developed countries is what you're seeing in Abyss. So he studied how the animal were groomed and everything and he put all of these things to me. And Abyss, where well, we're bringing it to the country, is proudly Nigeria. Uh, for me, in implementing government bilateral agreement, I've been successfully implement educational bilateral agreement and help thousands of students to annex quality and affordable education abroad. Um, Co-opting other industry like the agriculture, real estate and other things into it is a pleasure for me. And sorting out people with that uh, passion like Ambassador Usman, like uh, Daddy Reverend Shai Moss, you know, and other people. You have been eating meat. Ha! Huh? I'm of now 80 years. Hey, Joe, you not take me or don't worry. You don't take me around. No, you are not on the way. Kara! When you reach Kara, White. They are eating meat. They are eating. Um, in fact, I don't know what I can say. Just thank God. As you are eating mola, but this man is mola. Mama no move me. Mola. Oh, yeah, but he made it be 200 years ago. <laughs> Mandy, as you are eating meat, she will not go to Kenya and go to Even though you have something secret inside your body, as far as you pray for us, today is gone. Amen. Ah, ah. Soya. When there two weeks ago, is it last week? A day, I go home. I'm not going to be a good one. 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 Wow, 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 wow. Ah, you Enjoy it, enjoy it. Oh, the football, I can't. Bad mama, I don't want to put you in my room. I didn't hear you. You go, you go. You and you go to Niger Delta, you better run away the moment you check the ball because it's cry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but everyone here, I was at the hospital when you all were born. Oh. <laughs>
Yes. We want to appreciate God Almighty. Uh, this kind of place, we hope that we have this in. Our vision is actually to have it a, a, a meat shop in every ward in the old. Our, our vision is to have a beast farmer market shop in every ward of Nigeria. We have about 774 local governments and um, we have thousands of wards. We want people to be able to work and get quality things to, to feed themselves with. And um, we appreciate God. I will give this mic now to the CEO of Abyss so that we can do the cutting of um, the opening, the grand opening of the first one after the major one that we opened in uh, uh, Ireland last year. So this is the first one. This is more than shop. This is, this is, we we'll go to the top. So we give God all the glory. Uh, a round of applause for Ambassador Dr. Emmanuel Nelson. Uh, you do no, just speak uh, just for uh, your record. Is, is no. Okay. So as he has said, uh, we will just thank God and we appreciate God for what he has done. Because this is not just a man doing. In anything you are planning, if God did not put his hand, it will not work. So we can see the hand of God here. And uh, we also appreciate the community. Because uh, my brother cannot be here and be eating the whole meat. He need all the community. So in Abyss, there is one policy we have. We have sacked like three or four people because of customer relationship. We don't joke with my 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 this thing, my my some of my uh, I would say characteristics of the business is that even if customers say you are stupid, we say thank you, sir. That's our because you are the one that need him, you are the one that invite him. Because if you didn't open that place, customer will not come. So always customer is our priority. So in Abyss, if anybody abuses, even here, please take any of the number, call me. I'll come and sack the message because we value customer. So as we are going to open this place today, we pray that the whole uh, Okota, Okata, I always say a good balance. I don't know whether it's uh, Okata, I hope everybody will come here. Don't look at just as I said inside, it's what you need. Forget about I'm getting cheaper one year. Our own is even cheap. Nobody will give you cheaper than one year. And what we do, if you look at our meat, we process it, we remove all the fat, everything. You just carry your meat and go. So, we want to give it to uh, Captain Reverend Mother Ido Phillips to do the cutting for us. You know, Everybody like like the prayer someone prayed there that the God let us live <laughs> 80 and be strong. Yes. One woman said and be strong. Because it's very important that you can see Mama. Mama is uh, 18 but uh, looking forward. <laughs> so Mama, you will cut the living for us. Okay. And um, anything you say we should say we should say it. So, uh, yes, yeah. So, um, yes, please. I want you to hold Okay, yes. So, Okay. Before the reveal the name of the Father, Amen. the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of all eagles. Amen. The Lord is good. Good place to come up. See, the seal of Rabafuli is a friend. It's a friend and um, we believe this is a place that people should get quality from. And this, this, this is meant for everything we'll be producing in Abyss will be for exports. Not just for us to consume. Already, we already have others from Ghana saying that we should start uh, giving them cow leg, and which we are processing. Because uh, 
The place we even have in Lekki is not enough. We do 15 cows per day and it's not enough. We are not meeting demand. Yeah. So we already get another place in Bogije and uh, about two hectares that will be doing at least three to four hundred cows on a daily basis. We want to ensure that we get quality things like you have had out the cow have been bred and everything. So no matter where you are coming from, whether you are in a far distance, just write us in this office. I need two kilo of cow leg, two kilo of turkey, two kilo of this. They will they will do it, they will seal it, and our dispatch will bring it to your doorstep. Wow. Yes, they will bring it to your doorstep. So we hope to replicate something like this in the whole of the 774 local government. And we believe that with this, we'll be able to create minimum and engage meaningfully more than 5 million Nigerians, and which will reduce the unemployment. And we are looking at other industries. So that's what we're doing. By better of doing this, you can see people are attending to you. We have a bus driver. We have everything. So they've got an employment. Upstairs, we we'll, we'll walk you around everything. You can see our chillers to be there 24 hours and can be sure of what you are getting from us. So if you have your people abroad, you want to buy them things, you know, most of these things we lack it abroad. I live abroad too myself. So sometimes we like we like Gary Jebu. So is here. Gary Jebu. Very nice one. You can buy in cartons. We have a on right plantain that you can my okay. <laughs> I, I get I get I get to the so we have a bando yam. It looks like it know itself. You understand? This place is the major distributor, and you can always stock your house with it. Rice flour, two in kafa, you know, rice flour well blended, so you can be sure. But, uh, on ripe plantain is here. This is this is yeah. <laughs> good, yeah, you know. Yeah. For elderly yes. people, yeah. yes, the on ripe plantain, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we can always order in cattle and you can get the prices. Yeah. 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 The beans is is already picked. You will not see anything. Just put it and cook it. That's it. So it's already picked, okay. and then you can package that this one came to be. Okay, a round of applause for uh, the CEO, Ambassador Dr. Emmanuel uh, Usman. Thank you. Yes. I think uh, our products, we don't need even to talk much. When you look at the package, it will tell you what is inside. But as you insist, let me say something about it. This is only oil. This is the only oil that can never see this one. Never. Most of the only oil that we bring is out of regular people don't. So what we want to do is one test this one. When you test it, come back to us. So I don't have to say much. We do this one. It's the smallest one. It's very sweet and that's what we're supposed to use for oil. There's another granite, mainly made for oil. It's bigger than life. So when they do fully fully so then this one is cheese that's from the cow some of our cows so this mansion and this is the best we don't mix it like the way some people mix it with the uh, ororo you know ororo is name so when you mix it you will not know that this uh, most of it is uh, ororo they will just put small cheese inside because cheese smell so once you put small like this it take over the smell so you will hear the smell of ororo again the only thing is the test then this fish although this is not our own fish but we are trying to make it this fish is from thailand so but well, it's one of the best fish you can only can see it's one of the best fish that is processed locally so we have people that bring for us but very soon we start bringing it by ourselves and we even bring the seed to nigeria to come and do it by ourselves so this one is granite so maybe by monday or tuesday you see something we also have six meat seed we sell those one to go so everything because this thing is rush 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 but pardon us by next week 
everything before Christmas. You will see everything. So that's the number one. What is this one? This one. Ambassador. Cutting machine. Yes. We will just show you. They will just demonstrate how meat are being cut. How we use it to cut meat. You can see that. Do you see that? This is how they do it abroad. So you can always you can always order for a live cow. If you want to do your party, we will kill and deliver to you. When I committed called family and my phone went off. So pray for me. I pray for my auto correct also. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your life's refreshment. DJ. On uh, medium from the nation, representing for the nation, we have um, Gaia newspaper, we have Ray Pay Radio, we have what's the medium? We have the Eagle News, we have um, NTA, we also have TVC. So um, we believe that our press men already have their questions. But then, sir, we want you to address us. Uh, what has I said before, in any business that you are doing, don't use it. Okay. It's not as if there's no business that doesn't have challenges. Mm -hmm. So, but what I do specially in this farmers market is that with all the challenges that we are having, or we have to never give up, and we always try to see that we satisfy our customers. Normally, challenges in the whole business in Nigeria, everybody knows, especially we deal with logistics, that's a transportation of the animals. We always have challenges. It's beyond our control that there's nothing we can do. This government that's supposed to come to our aid, but uh, we have to do it. Also, other challenges, you have challenges of human challenge. You know, we are in a geographical area whereby you have different kind of people. Some people just come there, they want to make money. Business is not like that. Yes, you make the money, but do the right thing first. So, and what we do in Abyss Farmers Market, we make sure we do the right thing first before you do it. Okay, please, I'm very important. We want you to give us a little background about yourself. Okay. As I mentioned before, my name is uh, Emmanuel Nelson Usman, the CEO of Abyss Farmers Market. I hail from Adamawa State in a small village called Fachi. So one of our company, if you look at it, Bian and Fachi, so that I will never forget where I come from. And that's one of the policies of my life, where I come from. So I come to Lagos just as I don't know, some people come by here. For me, I come by trailer. <laughs> yes, I come to Lagos inside trailer after I suffered. In fact, there was a day I cried that I'll go back to village. But I look at myself, I say, if you go back to village, you don't have anything apart from farming. So what did I do? I started doing shoe shine. So while I'm doing shoe shine, somebody saw me inside that shoe shine and said, did you make money inside what you are doing? I said, I don't make money, but I don't want to make, I stay idle. I want to do something, to have something to eat. The man will not come to me and tell me that. Okay, by the end, of, and, and to shock you, this person is a driver. So you tell me that by the end of the month, I'm going to, if I collect salary, I'm going to buy a bike for you. And it happens like that. The man bought a bike for me. So when he bought the bike, you know, he give me money. I say, I don't know Oyimbo. He said, okay, I'll get somebody that will lead you to Oyimbo. Somebody follow me to Oyimbo. I bought that bike. I start working. And the man say, 
what I want from you every month you give me 3,000 naira. So what I do, that's every day 300 naira. So what I do every day, I will keep his 300 naira, I must keep 1,000 for myself. But in anything that you are doing, integrity is the most important thing. With that 300, that time that we are doing Okada, once a repair passed 500 naira, then the corner will be. I have never one day heard the man that this machine has broke down and I repair more than 1,000 naira. Because I make more money than him. I even tell him, I say, sir, I think I will start giving you 500. Because I make money more than you. He said, no, I just use this thing to help him. May his soul rest in peace. He's not alive today. So that's my beginning. From there, somebody told me and said, you want to work with me? I said, okay. So he gave me his address. I went to his office. He's a lawyer. So he now said, how much you pay me? I said, sir, I don't want money. He repeated it again. I said, sir, I don't want to. He said, why? How are you going to cop? I say, if you want to help me, you help me with transport. But in name of salary, I don't want salary. There are people that can testify that, like Tina there, she knows the man. So we started, uh, I started working with law firm. So basically what I do, we register products for people in NAPTA. I'm one of the oldest consultants in NAPDA. So anybody that did not know me in NAPDA is 2012. <laughs> so from there, I enrolled to my university in Benin, Ekoma. I was the only northerner in that school. In fact, I become like a team because people look at, ah, how you manage? You are from Adama, only you are northerner in this university. So I become very popular and everybody like me. So when I finish, if I if school close, I come back to my job. I do my job, I do my Okada too, because that's where I get my school fees. So I work with that man for good 13 years. So one day I tell him that I'm going. He said, no, what happened? Did I offend him? I said, no, but time has reached for me to leave. And I have promised you that one day I want to be on my own. That's my dream. Result of the government barbatra agreement. Wow. So we started. We did it. We did it in Nigeria, in Cameroon, in Gabon, in Ivory Coast, in Liberia, in Syria alone, in in uh, Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Dar es Salaam. Uh, when we, I saw everything we did in Kenya, and when I saw in Uganda too, when I saw what we did in about 18 African countries, and I said, okay, we can do more. Already, my colleague here already have passion for food security. So, you know, I was to education major so and i said now i want the voice to be heard if anybody that has known me know that uh, when i when i pick something i go all out for it you understand my zeal and passion to work is equally second to none i already do it part of our people a lot of our people are saying they are ready. Which local government has set off. What we create? We are creating offices in the 774 local governments. So, which accepted, the Kodu West already accepted, and uh, we, already, we, uh, we did our letter to uh, the chair of chair of all the chairmen in Nigeria already. You understand? So, we, we are working. So part of the work is the reason why you're here today. Thank you. It's not just us. Even now, we have somebody that bring almost every either two, two days or three, three days. We bring like a hundred, sometimes over hundred copies for us to process it for him. And when we process it for him, 
he take it to his customers. So what we do, if everybody will agree, and of which it's not easy for everybody to agree, but we are not pushing anybody out of business. Now, like here, if we look at the volume of uh, purchase is big here, we just request for a place that we can slaughter. Because we, we can slaughter even here, you won't know that they kill something here. For you that go there, because all our waste, we convert it to biogas. So you don't hear smell, you don't see any fly. No smell, no fly. So what we do, we tell them that it's not that you must buy cow from us. You can bring your cow from outside. But the only thing, before we kill that cow, the veterinary doctor has to satisfy it. Then we kill it for you. We dress it the way we do, the way or the way you want it. We even give you our vehicle to deliver for you. So now, if you see all the butchers of that area now has come back to our place because the meat that we give them, we remove fat before we even sell to them. There was a day Ambassador Dr. Conley came to me and met me and told me about Amy's farm and what they are into. And he said, Daddy, you need to see this place. And that time we not started anything here. So we decided that I will follow him and my wife and we went to Ajia to the estate to have a look at what what was on ground. At the end of the day, after the tour, and we met the CEO, very, very humble, and uh, he conducted us around and showed us all the facilities. Then our first impression was the fact that, uh, is this particular facility in Nigeria or is outside? Because what we saw really changed our perspectives of everything. We saw how meat will be killed and no flies and everything recycled and you know it was just mind blown. So we said we will want to replicate that concept in our home. And that was what kept running in our mind. And we came back myself and my wife and began to think about it. Um sincerely speaking, why did I have to go into this? Having a background that is completely different from this particular one. I have served in government for 34 years. I just retired this year. Honestly and sincerely speaking, if not for the doggedness of this man, this branch may not have started today. There was a time we were talking and he put us on a conference. If we want to escape and say no, we will start next and say no. He will say no. He is the man that never accepts a no for a yes. I have served it in him. Yesterday, he called a company on our behalf and they said you should produce also so amount. And I looked at it and I said, I don't have this. The ambassador said, No, I stand for him. Deliver these goods to him today. And this is the nature of Christ. He is. So we thank you and we appreciate you. God bless you. May God take you to greater height. Uh, to all women, I'm addressing you. One thing is this I know you will say, Yare, we should be have money. Eh? He can tell us to go and buy there. We will go to our own market. No! No! You can't compare the, old, the, the small children now to our own. I want to go. We used to use our go. All these small small girls, we give you a go. Ah! I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. save our teller. Now, I lost him with Tessima Marie Correra. A me be a law or two, and a meal lord Jamo, what's in that rubble? How much has a buy a killer? Come in, Lola and be Ara Shiki Ara Ogufe Ara Pomo. I say, wait, price don't for me long. This difference. This place is good. I want everybody to come and buy, and you. Uh, we are here to for a grand opening of one of the things that we believe it will promote Nigeria and advance Nigeria in the outside uh, in the United Nations. Now, the government bilateral agreement has always been there, and it looks vague. A lot of people do not know how to annex the opportunity embedded in government bilateral agreement, and that is why we have acted as a bridge. 
me representing United Nations as a diplomat, and I have been ensuring that I open people's eyes to the opportunity and see how we can create value in every community. You can see by this opening here right now, you can see that a lot of people will be, have access to quality and affordable foods. You can see, Bonarimo just confirmed, and some people will be employed. And that is what we want to do in the 774 local government, and we are at it already, and you will, by next year, we will launch more together.